Right, yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV. And today, I kind of just want to give this little quick commentary on... There's a couple things in the game. So, I, in this gameplay, I actually got this insane Mac 10 gameplay that I've got. I promise I didn't reverse boost again. You can check my stats on the TRN or whatever. I have a somewhat decent KD still. Like, I haven't, like, reverse boosted and I've got, like, a, a negative KD. I still have a positive KD. So, I'm still doing good. I've not, like, reverse boosted or nothing. Uh, also, this was that to be recorded in the th uh, theatre mode because for some reason my Elgato just didn't want to work and it was just all like corrupted and it, it just didn't, didn't look good. So I hopped into theatre and I uh, got the gameplay. So it might look a bit weird, but uh, yeah. So, first off, I want to talk about is how overpowered the Mac 10 is. In the right hands, the 10 can be super powerful and it is super broken. Now, I've, I, it's not in the right hands with me, but I'm still doing decent with it. Like, if you get, like, one of the Doom players or the Carnage players, they are more or less going to be unkillable because they are, one, really good. They are, that's why they're in Carnage. That's why they're in Doom because they're really good at the game. And, um, yeah, so if they, they use the Mac 10 they're going to be unkillable. People that reverse boost, for example, Korean Savage or Swag or, or any, any of the people that reverse boost that are good at the game and use this Mac 10 then other people are going to complain about it saying oh it's, it's bad now i'm using the mac 10 and i'm complaining on how op it is the recoil pattern ain't too hard to control like you can control the recoil really really easy with the mac 10 it has a super fast fire rate and it has decent damage as well and the reason why i'm complaining about it is because if you think about the snipers okay the snipers have a longer ads time Literally, you're going to get killed before you aim in with the Mac 10. What is absolutely ridiculous. Like it's like the MP5, but this is like a better version of the MP5. Now, yes, it's probably not doing, going to do good as good as the MP5 at long range, but it's still going to do a decent amount of damage because of that fast firing. And if you land a majority of your shots, you're going to kill him still quite quick anyway. But uh, yeah, the Mac 10 it just really needs a nerf. The Mac 10 does. It is super OP. But uh, other things I want to talk about is the people that, um, so in, on Twitter, when Call of Duty, Treyarch or something like that, post something on Twitter, uh, there's always that comment that's about skill-based matchmaking, saying fix skill-based matchmaking. I understand that skill-based matchmaking, they need to get rid of it, it's just not fun, it's just not fun to play like against sweaty lobbies every single time. Uh, I can play, I, I, I do play, I play sweaty a couple of times, I do play sweaty, I'm not going to lie, here I was actually playing quite sweaty, it was quite late actually to be honest, but I was playing quite sweaty, but I don't want to play sweaty all the time, I do want to have them casual games where I'm just basically just leveling up my gun, but uh, there's always some people that say, when they, when them people complain about skill based matchmaking, there's always a comment on it saying, get better, now for the people that do say get better, your, your point is just stupid, you're, you're, you're not making no sense, because, Skill based matchmaking. If you get better at the game, you're gonna get put with people that's better. So the people that are saying get better at the game, you're just gonna get put with people that are better at the game. So you kind of just like in the same spot the whole time. And with skill based matchmaking, people aren't actually like learning on how to get better at the game because they're getting put with the people that's the same skill as their own. For example, if I'm just getting put with people with the same skill. Yes, I'm probably going to get a little bit better, like general knowledge area, but I'm not going to get put against them tryhards. And then, because basically, when I played the game, like Modern Warfare 3 time, that's when I proper played the game, was around Modern Warfare 3, and I came across sweaty, sweaty players, I would see on how they play. I would literally watch their kill cam and see on how they play. And uh, yeah, to this day, I still try and get better at the game. Like, I'm somewhat decent at the game, but there's always somewhere to improve at. There's always somewhere to improve at, and. Uh, yeah, that's skill based matchmaking does need to get removed because it's seriously like there needs to be a ranked mode for it i'm pretty sure i did say in my skill based matchmaking video that there is a ranked mode in the mobile version of call of duty in call of duty mobile there is a ranked mode and a casual mode and that's in the mobile version of the actual game and that's what kind of annoys me because they could literally easily implement it into cold war and basically how Warzone is, I have like a seasonal thing, basically how, the se how these seasons have six seasons. Every season you should be able to get rewards for whatever rank you get. Because in the COD Mobile, each rank you get, you'll get a reward, you get some skins, weapon XP cards, um, double weapon XPs, I think you could get skins as well. What I think is actually really, really good and COD Mobile is a quite a decent game because of that. And uh, another thing I want to talk about is Prestige Shop. 
Now, I when season one was coming, when it was like the 15th, 14th or something like that, 14th, 15th, I was just really excited for the prestige shop. And unfortunately, it's not here yet. Now, I don't know if it's, you have to get level 200 to use a prestige shop because no one really has been able to use it. So maybe you do have to get level 200 and you only can like use it in like war zone, but it doesn't like proper work or something like that. So maybe you do have to get level 200, but they haven't really said anything about it. Like, oh, you have to get level 200 to use it. What is kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for prestige shots when that comes. Having the different prestige icons. Apparently there's going to be some Modern Warfare 2 stuff in there. Apparently, and COD 4 stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but if that is, that is going to be very, very nice to add into the game. Ah, dogs. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is just the XP. So, in the, the how the XP works now is once you've prestige, you are technically master. But when you get to level 200, then you are master. So it doesn't make really much sense. So at the moment, we are still in the like the prestige area, if you know what I mean. We're still going from a 1 to is it seven? One to prestige 7. Now, in my opinion, I think that the how the level should work is that it should be normal XP gains until we get to level 200. Once we get le level 200, that is when it should cost, like, basically, I think it's like 55,000 XP to level up when you master prestige. Well, in Black Ops 4 it did. But in this one, it costs like 55,000 XP each single level. And it's taken a long time to level. I'm not gonna lie, it's taken a long ass time to level. And it's kind of not making sense because in all the other cards with prestiges, it will literally, like you get like like 12,000, 10,000 or something like that. And then to the higher levels, like level 50, it'll cost about, run about 50,000 XP to level up. But not in this one. Once you've prestige, I believe once you, like once you've prestige once, it's like the fifty thousand. Uh, I don't think it's dropped because I haven't leveled up like twice in one game. Uh, much, as many does level up every one, every every game or every other game. Well, why double XP is on anyway? But uh, yeah, that's basically my take on it. It's very very slow to level up. There is double XP now, but uh. Yeah, it's very slow. If you do want to level up quick though, I do recommend doing challenges and all that. That's what I've been doing. I've been leveling up my weapons, been leveling up my Mac 10. Was well, super OP. So I highly recommend using the Mac 10. If you're gonna want to get a gold and all that, use the Mac 10 right now if you have it because it is really overpowered. I wouldn't recommend a skip buying like skip tiers and all that because I believe how Activision works is they they always make a weapon like super OP when they first come out, so that the people that buy like the extra tiers will get like an OP weapon, and then the, apparently they get put with people that don't have the weapon or something like that. I think that might be in the older ones with like DLC weapons and all that, so that people then buy or that might have been variants in Modern Warfare. But basically, like, the, the there was a thing where apparently the skins in the game will get put with people that don't have the skin so it encourages them to buy the skin and apparently it did I don't know I don't know how it works but I saw some sort of video on it it might not be true but uh anyway that's been the end of the video I hope you guys did like make sure you drop us drop a like and subscribe to the channel we very much appreciated and uh yeah I'll see you guys later peace out